Well, I'm going to give you this video. It's not going to be a doom and gloom video, but it's going to be a reality video. And uh, I'm going to also tell you this right up front, that do not either underestimate the elite or do not overestimate them, too. Because just as they are people like us, we can also say this, they are totally corrupt, not just morally and moral, you know, morally bankrupt, but there, a lot of them are highly dependent upon um, um, illicit activities, uh, drugs, and their narcissistic personalities that actually have very little capability of doing anything constructive or productive. You know, they're existing upon the whims of the um, fickle controllers of the Federal Reserve and the banksters, basically. That's a lot of our elite is there, and that's where the politicians exist upon their whims. Now, with Trump, I know he's somewhat of an insider, but uh, I have to look at this, Trump, Make America Great. Now, this Make America Great Again was taken from Ronnie Reagan's um, uh, campaign, which was Make America Great back in 1980. Probably some people don't remember that, but that's exactly where it came from. Um, Trump doesn't have the leeway to do what Ronnie Reagan did. And uh, Ronnie Reagan actually d couldn't do what the hell he wanted to do. Um, the military-industrial complex was too big. And you can also see that that's the case with Trump, that he's uh, feeding NATO a lot, right? Now, I'm going to tell you that the elite still hate what the hell Trump's doing. And they're going to do everything they possibly can to slam this guy. And I think the way they're going to mainly do it is through the economy. And the easiest way to do that is through the equity markets themselves because they're riding on an extreme high with the P.E. ratios far skewed, far more skewed than they should have been, like the price-earnings ratios. Uh, the actual underlying economy is crapola, and um, we are due for probably the largest correction going. If you look back at the history of the Fed, they created booms and bubbles ever since they've been created. They actually created a bust back in 1920, then they reinflated the bubble back all through the 20s, and broke it in 1929. Usually there is a between a seven and nine year cycle. Now what got me wondering is that this March 15th coming up, will the Federal Reserve raise interest rates? They might. Now I also want to state that on this channel some people might be a bit confused by where I come from because um, I actually got well, I don't want to say what the heck Jewish heritage I actually have. I did say it on other videos, but I definitely have Confederate heritage. And I just want to say that philosophically, theologically, morally, I totally recognize and reconcile um, Judaism and the Jewish cause with the Confederacy and the Confederate, Confederate cause. And I know some people put that as opposites, but... I see the great Jewish revolt of 66 to 70 AD was largely over taxes and the Jews not being able to pursue their way of life, their own self-government, and uh, without interference from outside sources, but especially the tax issue, which has a lot to do with why, which is exactly what happened with the Confederacy and why they broke away. Um, so I see an exact correlation there where some people see an opposite. That's how I view it. That's a unique approach, maybe, but I say it's a very honest approach. And remember, um, they're always looking to divide us. And by dividing us, they conquer us. So I reconcile some things that the major media calls opposites as one cause, one and together. So I just want to put that out there. But one thing that's evil is the New World Order. It's actually a controlled society. We're not going to have any kind of freedoms. You're not going to have private ownership of anything, including land, appliances, cars, and you know that's a lot of what Google Cars is pushing right now. A lot of people saying, "Oh, what a convenience! We could drive anywhere we want with the push of a button. We don't need to own a car. We don't need to maintain a car. We could actually just lease a car, let the maintenance be up to other people." But at the same time, you'll be tracked. Everything you do, and say, and say, even in a car, will be recorded. Um, your movements will be taxed with a carbon tax and all this garbage. Um, basically, that's what both the Jewish nation and the Confederacy is against. It's about independence, being a way, being able to pursue your own type of beliefs and your own way of life. Um, 
but the hidden hand is always behind us. Um, or I think Trump, it may happen. I know there's been a lot of rumors about what the Fed's going to do. Nobody knows what the Fed's going to do. If you knew what the Fed was going to do, you'd be a consillionaire in a million, a million times over. No problem, very quickly. But I highly suspect, I'm not 100% sure, but I highly suspect that the Federal Reserve might raise interest rates March 15, 2017. If that's the case, you're going to see the market start tumbling down, and you're also going to see palladium start coming down because it's highly industrial. As far as gold, gold may go up. Uh, now, I think palladium eventually is going to be worth more than gold, but in the short term, you might see a buy coming up. That's just you know something unrelated to silver, but it's still in the precious markets arena. Okay. Um, but as far as what's going to be happening here soon, um, they don't just want to destroy Trump politically. They want to destroy him in every way there is. I don't know if they want to, they're going to kill him or something like that, but they want to destroy him. And you can see what the, the liberals are. Well, I don't even want to call them liberals. the social controllers. I'm a liberal. You know what a liberal really means? A liberal means you're for the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights, you're for real freedom, individual freedom. Anybody could do what the hell they want. The government doesn't get involved in anything, whether it's religion, and I, today I think is Woman's Day or something, sexuality. The government doesn't, none of these people have any right to stick their nose in anything. That's real liberal. But you know, the word got twisted around today, it means social controllers. And um, that's something that's coming up very soon and as technology evolves. Now, one bright spot on this deal is, because I'm not sure, but, you know, despite these elitists thinking they got everything all figured out, they probably don't. Um, one thing I've always been thinking that's the outside um, whammy that's coming from a different angle is, as old girls looking over to the horizon here, um, is the mini ice age that may be coming up, which may be going into a major ice age. Not to say that the whole Earth is going to be encased in ice, but... What that means is that there's going to be a lot less food production out there and a lot more social calamities and tensions because when the people don't have enough, well, if you have enough money for food you're going to, and if food prices go up, what you do is you take it away from other discretionary spending, which affects the economy greatly, which in turn kind of snowballs because what happens there is that um, there's a lot less money circulating in the economy because if any, like in other words, if we did QE, quantitative easing, and it went into the actual producers, like old girl here sitting on a bike, which she probably could build this damn pan head, real problem, right? The actual producers, it winds up being about $10 of GDP for every dollar they stick into the economy if it goes into the hands of the real producers. When it goes into the too big to fails, the banksters that does sit there and do nothing, um, it does nothing for stimulation other than enrich them. It may be cause... Um, investor class asset price inflation to go up a lot which is actually where Donald Trump has made a lot of his money because his properties are in investor class type properties so if you know the elitists may get hit on their assets that they own that are prime prime uh, real estate and even some of the like numismatic type of, of coins and jewelry which I'm not against investing in precious metals but I am somewhat against um, investing in assets that have this um, not tangible value assigned to them you know it's an arbitrary value just like a, a company has goodwill assigned to it now one thing you could probably invest in is uh, weapons too and um, you know any of these 80 percent receiver kits that you could buy and build on your own is probably going to be a very good weapon. It's going to be like stealthy like a cat because I think eventually, even though they tell you that the government doesn't keep track of all the records of all the serial numbers, everybody has a weapon, uh, that's one of the biggest stumbling blocks to the New World Order to the max. The problem is, I think the reality of the situation is that they actually do. Since they actually keep track of every damn thing you say, do, and email and all your phone conversations I'm sure they keep the serial numbers of all the weapons in this country on everybody that bought one and even though it's supposed to be illegal I'm sure they got those records 
So what you probably want to do is build stealth 80% wep uh, weapon, uh, weapons from 80% receivers. You know, they got the Colt 1911, got the AR-15, uh, you got that Ruger 22. Uh, I think there's a Glock out there that you can build and stuff like that. So, but um, there's plenty that I really don't tell you on this channel 100% because um, there's just too much. And a lot of times my videos go quite a bit longer than I expect because I try to, you know, instead of putting out 20 freaking different videos, which some people do to grab attention and get the giddy minds out there, I try to give you a lot of information in one video. But I think that I'm almost 110%, well, I don't know if it's going to come out on March 15th. That's not 100% sure. It may be. It's rumored that the Fed is going to raise interest rates March 15th, 2017. It's rumored. It may not be, it may not, it may be, be a small thing, but even if they do a small thing, that might be the beginning of the end of the markets, you know, going higher. They'll be, and I really think that they're starting to tumble as it is. I was surprised they went over 20,000. But there's a limit, and the one way to really kill Trump is, you know, politically, but also financially, is to destroy the capital that's available for people to reinvest in this country. Um... And there's no room for raising taxes. We're at the debt ceiling. There's nothing he could do to stop, you know, the thing going from over 20 trillion debt in the United States, which is actually probably 80 trillion with the unfunded liabilities. So we're on the road to ruin, no matter one way or the other. But the thing is, even if you're on the road to ruin, you know, you got to look at, you got to look positive, because even if you say. Like, give you an example. Say there's a destroyed building. You know, there's a fine, nice brick building out there, and it just got blown up. They're just giving a hypothetical example. And you're like, oh, the building blew up. Oh, I got nowhere to live. The building's all destroyed. Well, if you start taking each brick and you start laying them upon each other and you, you get some mortar or whatever, even if you don't have mortar, you make, you make some, your own mortar from a type of clay, and you start putting those bricks upon each other, before you know it, you rebuilt the building. But if you just sit there and you cry about it, nothing's going to happen. That's and that's why I'm kind of really against these doom and gloom videos quite a bit, quite a bit, because I realize you got to keep this positive attitude. But then the reality of it is, you can't have a positive, dream-like attitude where you're not facing reality. You know, if we're going over a cliff or something like that economically and you know you just figure you're gonna float to the bottom and nothing's gonna happen you don't want to grab that parachute which could be silver or gold well guess what you're gonna hit the bottom and go splat that's the problem right so I mean there's an answer to this to the problem but you you know it's like this you know I'm not trying to freaking scare the crap out of people I never have been but I realize the situation is very grave because um, this game has been going on a long time. As a matter of fact, I'd, I'd say since the end of the war between the states is when the central banks really started cementing their control under Abe Lincoln. I know some people say, no, 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 but if you look back at the reality situation, that guy was, actually the people even like him, admitted that he was a dictator. Um, you know, he was the guy that basically started the military industrial complex in a modern sense as acknowledged by JP Morgan back when JP Morgan was 27 years old and this was that was in 1864 as I put out another video and with politicians and anybody and anybody you know I'm not saying I'm a fan of JP Morgan okay I know what JP Morgan did to Tesla I know what JP Morgan did to facilitate the crash in the markets where he greatly facilitate he greatly benefited back not in, not just in nineteen twenty nine but also in nineteen oh eight the panic of nineteen oh eight nineteen oh nine but um and also he was in, he was uh one of the people that planned the federal reserve which is totalitarian and absolutely unconstitutional but what i'm saying about j p morgan he often reveals and this is what all these elites they often reveal what the real game plan is and you're just going to need to do further research and take his words of wisdom that he's revealing and apply it to other things 
Like, one thing I liked with J.P. Morgan that he said is that a man has always has two reasons for doing something. And actually, he's talking about in business or politics. A man always has two reasons for doing something. A good reason and the real reason. So there's always an outside thing, oh, we got to do this to tax people to help save the children or something. Or like, you know, with the uh, Affordable Health Care Act, it was all about making affordable health care for everybody and make, putting everybody under the health care umbrella, but it was actually about totalitarian, complete control of everybody by the government. It's actually a totally unconstitutional tax. And actually, the IRS is unconstitutional to the max. And... I despise everybody that pretty much works for the government, even if they're a good guy or a bad guy, because I could tell you, as long as you're, unless you're a direct vicious thorn in, in like a mole against the government, then I'll say you're fine, which is kind of like what my role was when I was in the USMC. Now, this is, a, this is actually a picture of um, some property that I may possibly be getting up in Tennessee, uh, the Mountain View, and... Uh, um, Maybe up there as uh, part of the northern border of the Confederacy, <laughs> and so to speak, and down here on the southern border of the Confederacy, which is north central Florida. But that's just a picture uh, looking out to the mountains from that property. So, pretty nice view, man. Anyway, but uh, I want to tell you the other thing is um, they got no room to maneuver this time with the government. And I think there's going to be only two ways out of a real economic mess this next time is to either cut, actually I think it's going to be both, cut services and also cause the currency to devalue. If you notice way back when in 2000, they, met, they outlined some things about uh, stimulus and various plans. I forgot what they were off the hand, but the last one was devalue the dollar. And I think the devaluation of the dollar is going to be greatest against U.S. to Chinese yuan. And that is one reason why I'm actually buying some of these Chinese-made goods that are fairly decent quality and durable because and without sales tax involved in shipping because I think that they're going to be priced exponentially higher whether it's tools or uh, you know a, a camp axe or knives or whatever the hell it is now this is something I actually presented in another f video this chart goes all the way back to 1916 or 1913 I think I don't know if it says 16 well it probably goes back to 19 well, it just misses 1913 where the tax actually took effect. But in World War One, you look at this chart on the left-hand side where the blue and the red lines converge. Um, these were the top-tier rates of taxation. I put this out on another video, but I'm bringing up another point here because um, we got no room to tax anymore. And um, the top ten, the top-tier rates. These are the top-tier rates. Uh, the top tier rate on regular income tax, on regular income and um, capital gains back in World War One, both reached 73%. I believe it was 73 or 77%. I think it was 77%. And then it declined later on to an age of normalcy under Calvin Coolidge, for instance, and um, you know after Woodrow Wilson, and but nowhere near as low as. Um, what was, you know, before World War One, or at the exception of the tax itself, because, you know, when they said the age of normalcy, we returned in the 20s, it didn't return to anywhere near normal as the beginning of the tax. Because once you put a tax in, it's very easy to start raising the rates. You know, once you have a property tax, once you have a sales tax, once you have a state income tax, whatever. And if they ever do a national, they might do a national sales tax. I don't know. Because back during the Great Depression, 1932, that's when they started the gasoline tax. Now, you look what happened during the Great Depression. Boom! Rates went way up. Now, this is the upper tier. But back in 1945, the upper tier actually reached, upper tier of ordinary income reached 94%. Now, of course, the people that were on the top already had their money protected in um, tax havens. And uh, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, uh, charitable charitable nonprofit NGOs, right? Now, here you look later, the tax rates are much, 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 much lower, right? They were even declining during the Vietnam era, for the most part, except for maybe capital gains, which was, um, well, capital gains had a spike over here in the late 70s due to the oil prices and gold and stuff going up. They actually did an excise tax 
capital gains tax on oil. But uh, how was uh, Vietnam War and other wars, uh, Iraq War and the Gulf, uh, Gulf War and um, Desert Storm all funded later on? Through running deficits. How was the Reagan big buildup, and I'm not anti-Reagan, but the Reagan big buildup of the military all through deficits? Trump's trying to same, do the same thing, build up the military and also build up our infrastructure. And, you know, I'm, I'm fine with the wall, but the wall's going to cost some money. Um, I know what I'd do instead of the wall, but I don't want to say it on YouTube. But uh, <laughs> the deal is he's not going to be able to do it. Now, there's a theory sometimes some people think they want to kill this guy. He, they might, they might, I don't know. But then again, it might be more advantageous to them to try to ruin him, not just politically, but also his fortune. And if any site can get a hold of him, and administer any kind of drugs clandestinely, they could screw him up big time. Oh, big time. Because um, one of the most famous drugs they used to use in the Soviet Union, even in small doses, Haldol, will totally destroy, oh, even in very, very small doses, which could be administered through the skin, totally destroy your commitment to your ideals. And I might put a separate video about on this on separate on a separate uh, uh, separate video because I think that's another way the elite are going to look into control us actually through um, the psych profession, which may you know they you've been taught you've been hearing about how they're going to they want to put lithium in the water, right? Well, that's one reason you need to purify all your water too because it has fluoride in it and who the hell knows what else kind of crap they put in it. And actually, I can go on on a tangent and tell you that. You know, even the chlorine bleach that they put in the water is actually very toxic to the body. It is. Um, there's plenty of research from Holder Clark, the quote-unquote alternative um, researcher who actually dealt with some of the right frequencies too, that even tap water that you drink that even doesn't contain fluoride has a number of chemicals in it that are very dangerous to your overall health. One reason I got well water, but um, I plan to have well water up in Tennessee. I know there will be up there too. But... Um, if you look back, even during the time of the Great Depression, uh, look at all these states that are colored dark blue. Um, all the ones in dark blue, I don't know how many there are. 1, 2, is that 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, something, 23, 24, or something like that. 23 or 24 states, um, or, well, Hawaii is definitely 24 or 25. Um, all brought about a sales tax to keep the governments from going under during the Great Depression. What I think is coming up is, well, it's probably going to be just as bad as that, but the way they're going to get out of it is through inflation. You know, um, it might be a total opposite to strategy. Like back in the 1930s, what they did is they tightened their money supply and they taxed the crap out of people. <laughs> that really helped the economy. Oh, God. And... You know, they never got out of the mode where you couldn't, um, after Prohibition was repealed in 1933, they still made it impossible, virtually impossible, through regulatory fees to make your own gasoline from from uh, corn or hemp or anything like Well, you can't grow hemp even, right? Actually, you get ten times more hemp from, gasoline from hemp. But that's what, that's, you know, honestly, the only way you're going to freaking survive in this world is to be an outlaw. And, you know, it's like you can't advertise you're an outlaw. Because, but you know, you know, it's ridiculous. I mean, on the books today, you got between forty and fifty thousand new laws coming on board in this country. Besides, these jerks freaking talking to each other, trying to raise taxes on every item there is, or put a regulatory fee. They're strangling you left and right. And their solution is to be going to be is no pro private property, because. Um, the only way to manage the human race, because there's more people now, is through, like, the elitists. And you know how that's going to work. It's going to work sort of like Logan's Run. When you hit age 30, your, your little button turns black and you're dead. You know, they come after you to vaporize you or some shit. You know, but something along those lines, right? Uh, personally, I'm going to tell you what I think, though. Um, I think, actually, today, with some of the knowledge we have through, not just knowledge with technology, but also knowledge with... Um, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, the ancient herbs, because every every all the knowledge of all the years past and all the cultures is available to us, you know, electronically. 
except people aren't actually researching this, we can probably live to be hundreds of years old or maybe over a thousand years old and stay vital and young the whole damn time. Of course, if you're freaking got on with the genetically modified foods, the pollution and uh, the exposure to toxins and uh, pharmaceutical drugs, you're not, that's never going to happen. Because they're strangling us, the human race, one time, one bit at a time, as Bill Gates is. But, you know, with his vaccinations. But let me just say that people need to realize when you're dealing with the elite, they really are. I don't want you to sit back and say they're idiots. Sit back, but they are idiots. Because, you know, even look at Jeb Bush, who was a piece of crap, and Bill Clinton, right? Another piece of. Well, I kind of like Bill Clinton's personality, but the guy. The guy is, uh, you know, he, he's dependent upon snorting coke and goes after underage women and all this other crap. I mean, he's got some serious dependencies, you know. And Hillary, Hillary, forget it, she's an idiot. I mean, I, I can't believe that broad ever made it. You know, if she listened to her husband, you know what, she would have been president. I'm telling you right now. That guy actually knew what the hell he's doing. She doesn't. And if she had half the personality of him, and I'm not saying I'm a fan of the Clintons. I'm just telling you I'm the reality of it. If she had even half the personality or a quarter of the personality of him, she would have won. But that's how close that shit was. Um, I think they're going to do everything, you know, like Trump won a battle, right? But if you put all your faith in one guy, like you got this Goliath or some shit that's going to take care of all your problems, well, you know what? If you're not freaking helping them out, and I'm not talking to like campaign contributions or donations, but if you're not helping them out in other ways... Um, you're going to lose. And you, the best way to help him out is to help yourself out. Make sure you do not get strangled by the snake. And, you know, anything you do independent, fine. Like I was talking about, right now, it's kind of a loophole, even though it's maybe, I, you know, I don't know. You know, I guess everybody does it, but, you know, right now it's not enforced per se. If you have, um, if you order stuff on the Internet from outside your state, and they don't have a store, a brick and mortar store in your state. They typically don't charge sales tax unless it's Amazon. Amazon's collected sales tax left and right, and everybody. That's a way to kind of avoid paying a little extra, you know. Sometimes. Now I know eventually that loophole is going to be closed because it's starting to be closed pretty quick. But for now, that's one way you can kind of strangle the beast a little bit. But the other way is to, uh, you know, uh, you know, not not buy into any of this crap that these people tell you they're going to do. Because the game is, they want to stick their nose in something, and once they get something established like the income tax, you know, it sounds kind of like cliche, oh, the income tax. Well, you know what? That's freaking blatant theft, man. That's like somebody coming in saying, hey, here's your check, and I took it. Thank you. And people are going along with this shit, because they gave you, just like J.P. Morgan said, a man or politician or, you know, whatever, <coughs> has two reasons for doing everything. There's a good reason, which is the one they tell people, which sounds good, and there's the real reason. The real reason why they started this income tax was so when they got people, they knew World War One was coming up. World War One was a way to make certain people extremely wealthy. And actually, since we lost the war with the, in, with the North, um, I can tell you that the United States has been on a downhill slide ever since then because the, the cause of the South was about 1776 all over again. I think people need to... You see, I put this out, and I know what. I know what happens. Most vast majority of people that are silver channels, like they're bloggers, like there's only one out there that, that sticks with me. is Victory Report. He's the only guy. Everybody else, they... SGT Bull, he went... As soon as I put something out about the Confederacy, he's gone, Right? But you know what? I, I know the truth. And you know what the deal is? I'm going to tell you that um, I think that eventually the truth is going to come out. But once it becomes popular, it becomes lame. You know, it's about the right to self-government, the right to pursue your own way of life, to do your own thing, and not to be taxed by an outside authority that isn't, it's against you. You know, that's exactly why how I reconcile uh, the Confederate cause of 1861-1865 and with the Jewish revolt of 18 of 66 AD to 70 AD which of course in 69-70 AD was the year of the Ro four Roman emperors with Roman emperors uh, 
Arthur Galba, Vespasian, Vitellius and Vespasian, which caused Rome a lot of turmoil itself. But, you know, it's, that's going off on a tangent, but let me just say that they're going to go after Trump every which way from Sunday, and they're going to do it through the economy. They're definitely going to do it through the economy. So, even now, I'm an advocate of buying stuff made in this country. I don't buy everything made in this country. That's one strategy because I realize the exchange rate between China and the United States is probably going to change drastically sometime during the Trump administration. And you're going to find out some of these durable goods that were very affordable, that were decent quality Chinese, are not going to be affordable anymore. And they're going to be through the stratosphere if they're made here. In the meantime, you can make very good use out of these goods. So, anyway, over and out. Just want to tell you, warn you up ahead, that it could be on March 15th you might start seeing this slide in the markets. I kind of hope not because, uh, uh, you know, I'm actually looking to get secure some property here pretty soon. and uh, But that could be a bargaining chip for me if, you know, I see the markets slide because I could tell the guy, hey, you know, the markets are sliding. There's less capital out there. Money, people don't have money and whatever. So I'm going to try to make a deal on that Tennessee property. Over now.